Hello everyone and hello everyone welcome to this week in stupid for the 31st of January 2021. A lot of things have happened this week which is going to make it for a very interesting show today so without further introduction let's get right into the news. We're going to begin talking about COVID because uh, in the United Kingdom it appears two people have done something horrible. I couldn't believe my eyes and I had to read this news two times. Apparently, they have created a biological hazard by encouraging people to participate in a snowball fight inside the park. Luckily, the ever so vigilant British authorities have managed to apprehend these two dangerous and deranged individuals, which have shown a blatant disregard for the laws and they have violated the restrictions on mixing household, the police officer said. But uh, in a normal British fashion, the police shows that uh, they have a lot of empathy and compassion, and it is with a heavy heart that they're having to find these gentlemen 10,000 pounds each. You need to understand the police made it absolutely sure that people are aware they do not want to give this fine but the mantle of keeping society safe has been thrusted upon them. As such, there was no other recourse. I personally believe that a fine is just too light of a sentence. Encouraging a snowball fight, that is absolutely a blatant breach of the rules and a significant and completely unnecessary risk. As such, if it were up to me, these uh, gentlemen would be serving prison, but luckily it is not up to me. The people in charge are uh, far more compassionate and merciful than I would be if I was in their situation. Meanwhile, over in the United States, experts are working hard in order to find better ways for us to keep safe and remain healthy. The experts keep telling us that wearing masks is really about protecting ourselves, protecting others from ourselves in the event that we are contagious. But, you know, if other people aren't wearing their masks or they're wearing them improperly, we need to protect ourselves. So experts say you can double up with a tight weave fabric mask for added protection. Now, Virginia Tech researchers found that doubling up these cloth masks increases the efficacy from 50 to 75 percent. A three layer mask could block up to 90 percent of the particles. My God, that was beautiful. I wish I could have thought about it. But, you know, I'm not an expert. Um, I, I would suggest, I would pitch an idea to an expert. Uh, do some research in the quadruple mask. And then the penta mask. And, and see the if the efficiency level just keep rising as you just stack up more and more and more masks. Um, because it's important. I mean, we get to keep people safe, right? So uh, uh, a little bit of discomfort is nothing in the ways of safety. Now, a very bizarre conversation is happening in Quebec, of all places. Uh, Quebec has a curfew, and people are not allowed to go outside after 8 p.m. And two days ago, they found a homeless person that has frozen to death near Montreal. And this got the press speculating that the man was hiding from the police officers, not wanting to risk getting a fine. Whether this is true or not, we do not know. But what we do know is that the mayor called on the province to exempt the homeless from the curfew. However, the Quebec Premier uh, François Legault uh, said that he cannot do such an exemption because, you see, if he were to allow homeless people to walk out after curfew, then the citizens of Quebec, which he trusts so much, are going to lie to the authorities. And they're going to just claim that they are hopeless. I mean, you got to appreciate the high level of public trust that takes place in Quebec between the governors and the ruled. Uh, if you were a naughty person that thought, oh, you know, this is going to be my way out. I'm going to walk the alleyways in the freezing cold after 8 p.m. And if the authorities catch me, I'll just say I'm homeless. <laughs> well, turns out that Francis Legault is in on you.
he, he knows the scam. He knows the trick. He will not allow it. So stay indoors and stay safe. Why weren't President Biden and all members of the Biden family masked at all times on federal lands last night if he signed an executive order that mandates masks on federal lands at all times? I think we have big, bigger issues to, to worry about at this moment. I mean, yeah, okay, President Biden and his family weren't wearing a mask in public on federal ground after he signed an executive order banning people from not wearing a mask on federal ground. But this does not mean that it should distract us from the real news. I think we have big, bigger issues to, to worry about at this moment. Will he keep Donald Trump's Air Force One color scheme change? This is such a good question. And now it's time for a commercial break. This video has been brought to you by the fictional company of verifyyourself.irl. Do you want your neighbors to know that you are an important person with enlightened ideas capable of reshaping society? Then purchase the blue check mark and attach it to your home so that everyone can know how enlightened you are. Long gone are the days when people have to log on on the Twitter in order to find out about how smart and important you are. Now you can do this in real life by actually attaching this to your home. This product is completely fictional and not available for sale. Now, do you guys know that a very important conversation has took place? Apparently, Russian President Vladimir Putin has spoke with President Biden. And all the reporters were curious about what that conversation entailed. So finally, we get to find out. Mr. President, what you talking about your food about? You. <laughs> Did I not tell you? The Democrats are the party of unity and strength. You don't need to know what the US president spoke with the Russian president. It's above your pay grade. Little journalists, go back there making good PR for the Democrats. Stop asking these questions that you, you don't really need to know. Now, let's talk a little bit about the teachers union in the United States. I think I uh, spoke about them in a previous video where I showed you the leader of one of these unions who was very concerned about returning to school because she didn't want to jeopardize her and her colleagues health. But uh, she wasn't concerned when she took a vacation. You see, uh, she did a non-essential travel all the way to a nice beach and rested there. Uh, I guess she was trying to flee the pandemic. Pandemic worldwide, right? That's what it means, huh? Am I, am I correct? I don't know. But I, anyway, right. School's dangerous. Beach vacation safe. And uh, apparently, people are pointing out the hypocrisy. They're like, oh, uh, teacher union uh, berated Trump for reopening school. But now it's praising Biden for doing the same. And I don't see where the hypocrisy is. I mean, are right-wingers really that daft? I mean, Trump is history, right? Like, that was in the past. Like, at the time, it wasn't safe to reopen. But now it is safe to reopen. Because I assume experts have found the triple mask thing. So now with the triple mask thing, it is safe to reopen. If Biden says so, then how can you doubt him? Now, while some teacher unions are praising Biden, uh, some individual teachers do not want to go back. Because, you see, uh, staying at home and getting paid is safe. Going to school, definitely not safe. And they want to raise awareness about this. And, of course, when you want to raise awareness about something, especially when you get paid the same amount, whether you stay home or go to school. So uh, they decided to do a little bit of activism a little bit of eye-opening for society. And they did it in the most important way a person can do activism in 2021. They took it to TikTok and they started dancing. Safety is essential. Keep our students and our teachers safe. Children deserve to be 
Um, that was beautiful, wasn't it? You know what's the word I'm looking for? Breathtaking. Like, look, right here. Right here. Do you know what's happening? They're taking away Ben Shapiro's breath. It's just utterly be amazing. Stunning and brave, as they like to call it. Um, I don't think any of those people should ever work again. Oh man. Why did he have to go ruin it? It was such a beautiful and inspiring moment. This is why people don't like conservatives. They open their mouth and then they say nasty things. Why didn't Madame Shapiro teach Ben that if he doesn't have something nice to say, then he shouldn't say it at all? A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids with six different men. So I'm just gonna tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only $680 a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is $340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is $2,040. So why don't you have six baby daddies? A lot of people got something to say about... Can't argue with facts, yo. That woman is a genius. Step away, Thomas Soul, and let this lady come in, because she knows what she's talking about. She managed to do the proper math, and good luck refuting that. If I had a company, I would hire this lady as my financial advisor. I'm not even joking. Like, I wouldn't even hesitate. I would just throw away all the other resumes. I'm like, oh, this lady, this is the one that I want. Like, she, she knows how to make money. And, uh, of course, knowing how to make money is all the rave that has transpired this year. Because uh, a couple of people decided to buy stocks on the market and everyone freaked out. It's like, how, how dare you buy stocks? And I have seen uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, billionaires crying on television. I have seen a lot of people trying to explain to me why buying stocks is evil and it's a bad thing. And I'm pretty sure you heard about the whole GameStop Wall Street debacle, right? Uh, but to simplify it, it kind of goes like this. In the United States, if you're a pharmaceutical giant and you produce medicine that's $3 to make, but you're selling it for people around $300 because, you know, like sick people just have to buy it, like they have no choice, uh, then it's a smart business strategy, right? Like, I, I completely agree. It's thrifty capitalism. That's what it is. I mean, the big pharma, they, they take a risk when they research that medication. And as such, they deserve to sell it to people for $300 because people are desperate. They're going to buy, you know, everything is worth what the purchaser would pay for. See, I'm smart. I know quotes. But the problem is that uh, if a person buys $3 of stock and then short investors uh, are being charged $300 for the stock because they can't just refuse to buy it. Oh, that's a horror. Uh, the government needs to put a stop to this. But luckily, uh, the government didn't have to put a stop to this because the trading apps did it first. And apparently, a lot of people got this error message that if you wanted to buy the stock, it would tell you that uh, it is, you can't do it because it is to mitigate the risk to your account. Do you see, do you see how much they care about people like the compassion they have? They, they care about the risk to your account. And you got Democrat politicians like Rashida Tlaib uh, pointing out how this is absurd because more than half of all Robinhood users own at least some GameStop stock. And they are now unable to trade with it because Robinhood, according to the error message that they were giving out, it was to mitigate the risk of the user's account. All right, so let me walk you through to what has transpired here. Imagine that you go to a casino and you don't want it to be 100% based on chance. You, you don't want it to be just on luck. So you don't go to the roulette or the slots machine. Instead, you go to blackjack. Because you know how to count cards. And you, you kind of get a general impression that this game is a little bit more skill-based than all the rest. Now, you're fully aware of the risks. Because you're not a mentally challenged person. And you're over the age of 18. And you're fully aware that most people do end up losing... Uh, at blackjack but hey at the end of the day it's your money right and you get to decide whatever you want to do with your money because you're a grown-ass adult so you decide that you only live once and you're going to bet all your money onto this blackjack game 
and the game starts and you get a six and a four. So you look at it and it's like, okay, well, 10 um, hit me. And then you get a king. And you're, you're kind of comfortable with the hand that you're having at this point. You're kind of in your corner there. You got, you got diamond hands and you're like, you know what? I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to stand. I mean, sure, you know, the, there is the chance that I could get an ace and that would get me to 21. But like, I, I, I'm kind of confident. I, I just want to stand. Um, but the dealer just gives you another card. And it's a volley. And now the dealer says, sorry, kid, you're busted. Looks like the house wins. And, and you're a little bit confused now because you're like, I, I clearly said stand. Why would I hit on 20? And the dealer says, um, due to the volatility of your cards, uh, we've uh, restricted your hand to hits only. And, and that's pretty much what happened. Um, it's the app forcing people to only be allowed to sell their stocks. Uh, they're not allowed to buy. Uh, now, if you have a market where <laughs> people are not allowed to buy, but they are allowed to sell, this will get the price of that product to lower dramatically, which it did, coincidentally. And obviously, a lot of people were really upset because they woke up in the morning with millions of dollars in their account. And once the share dropped in value, artificially, may I add, uh, they realized that they've lost a lot of money. So everyone was curious to see what the CEO of Robinhood, the trading app, had to say about all of this. The customer who says, look, maybe I shouldn't be on Robinhood anymore. If they're going to not, if they're going to shut me out right when I, when I need to, to be on the service, maybe I should go to an alternative service. Look, we, we realize customers are upset with this. Uh, it, it was not an easy decision. Um, ultimately, the team uh, made the correct decision here. So um, what we can do is move forward, focus on giving customers the most stable and reliable platform going forward. Um, and we've, we've invested a lot in that, and we've actually seen some great progress in uh, taking all the steps we can to make sure customers can buy the securities that they want to buy without restrictions in the future. When you look at the trading in these stocks over the past several days, do you think they're divorced from reality? Are you concerned that the investors that are involved in this are, are doing these things for reasons that they fully understand and they fully understand the risks involved? Look, when I, I'm, I'm obviously um, a big believer in more education. I want to make sure that we give customers all the tools and educational resources that we could possibly give them. Um, this is, is really about access. Um, and access is something I've been super strong about from the very beginning in the face of a lot of criticism and questions about whether we should be granting people access in the first place. So, yes, I think people need to be informed. They need to be educated. Uh, we do want to give them the ability to do that. But I also believe that uh, access is a very powerful thing. The more individual investors have access to the markets, the better off we will be. And we're going to work tirelessly day in and day out to make sure customers have that access. It's in the name. It's everything we stand for. Well, gosh darn it, I'm convinced. I'm going to start a Robinhood account now because they offer you an education. If I'm going to look for a job in the future, I'm going to write on my resume that I have graduated Robinhood. I, I have been on the app. The company has educated me. And now I have an extra on my resume. The second thing that I like is that they really care about you. You know, they, they give you access by limiting things. I mean, you, you get more access when they take options away from you. That, that is just so interesting because they have the power to bend logic like that, like no other company does. That, that is just the power of the corporation that is on full display here. And I, I want to ally myself with the powerful. And the fact that they really care about your safety, that, that is just absolutely... I wonder, like, why do they even allow you to make transactions? Like, why can't I just give them my bank account and let them do transactions on my behalf then? Because if they're so savvy and they're so good at protecting people, then why do I even need to bother them? Why, why do I need to be the middleman in this? Just allow Robinhood to have access to your bank account and let them just buy and sell according to what's safe. And, of course, a lot of people at Robinhood were not seeing my way, and they got upset. 
Uh, and if you remember this article from The Onion saying potential employee uprising quelled with free pizza, well, um, to appease unhappy staff, Robinhood on Thursday provided its roughly 1,000 employees a $40 credit to a restaurant delivery app, DoorDash, so they can buy that good pizza. I mean, that's, that's definitely going to ease off the spirits. That's going to calm down the people upset within the Robinhood <laughs> company. Now, a lot of talking heads on the Twitter weighed in on this situation, and uh, they, they try to understand what's going on here. Like, why would people invest money in stocks? That, that's like one of the big questions that we're going to try to figure out. And this guy, I think he's got it. Um, it's because of sex. It's because young men don't have sex. You see, this, this has to be like one of the most intelligent takes that I have seen in 2021. I know the year just started, but like, come on, this, this, this is probably going to reach all the way into April. Uh, angry incels on Reddit took their blue balls frustration out on hedge funds, who didn't do anything. Uh, get laid then, maybe you losers will do the right thing and never challenge Wall Street. I think, I think that's the take that we're getting from this. Now, people on the internet claim that MarketWatch doxed the creator of the Reddit Wall Street bets. Although I did hear some conflicting information, like some people say that he just gave an interview. Um, but whatever the case is, I, I just want to read what they posted on Facebook, right? So, the man who created Reddit's Wall Street bets isn't who you think he is. Man, the, the power of market watch, they know who I think about, like, they, they know how I would stereotype people. He is 39 years old. He lives with his wife, a physician, and spends his week chasing after their three-year-old twins and tending to his day job. Hardly the sort of a character one might associate with the rolling investing form. You know what? I'll, I'll help market watch. I think I, think I got a picture. I think I got a picture of the man who created the subreddit. Here you go. Is this, is this an accurate description? Is this, <laughs> is this, is this how Market Watch portrays the dude? And when you want to learn more about finances, my advice is to read Bloomberg Wealth. It has wealth in the title. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And you get this interesting article that talks about uh, stock investors are hunting for the next GameStop on Reddit and Twitter. And this article is pretty much about the fact that people who are now working for home and they don't, they don't go out as much as they used to, they have a lot of money to spare and they're investing it in stocks. And, and this is before the oh shit moment when they realized... Um, the banks are getting squeezed. So this is the newest article after the firmware update. Uh, working from home is starting to fall apart, top bankers warn. Yeah, uh, I, I have a feeling that the top bankers might advocate that, you know, like the lockdowns, that they're good and all. But um, I, I, think, I think people should go out a little bit more. I think, I think they, should, they, they have a little bit too much money to spare. As for my explanation why people are trading, um, it's not as complex as they have blue balls or can't get laid or, you know, what, what other more intelligent people than me think. Uh, I did the, something that's very taboo and uh, you should never do it when you try to explain something, but I just went around and asked them. I was like, well, why, why do you want to purchase GameStop stock? Like, what, what do you gain from it? Then the response I got is that I like the stock. You know, like maybe a lot of people can be satisfied with this explanation, but I, I wanted more. Like I wanted to delve deeper. It's like, what, what, what about the stock that you like? What, what do you like about the stock so much? And apparently, love video games. And I'm like, man, I can't refute that. That's some cold hard logic right there. I mean, the, the man loves the video game and, and he purchased the stock. It, it, it's just like that. I mean, uh, I, there's no more complexity to it. There, there's not another layer. If you try to peel this layer, underneath you find even more love for the video games. You know, these people just have love in their heart. However, this does not seem to stop other people getting upset over this. Uh, like, for example, this uh, lady, Feminist Next Door. Wall Street is not the enemy of working people, FFS. This stake is so pedestrian. Only a pedestrian would think this. Wall Street pays your 401,000 funds your state's disability payout. 
and finance is your town's community center. That is the level of involvement it has in your life as an average Joe. I'm a finance and regulatory risk attorney for Wall Street banks. Meanwhile, Forbes is uh, making interesting articles saying that uh, you should ignore the populist GameStop hype, uh, that the short sellers are heroes. Absolutely, Forbes. I, I can't agree more. Although people still believe that Robin Hood is the villain in all of this. And you get the very interesting alliance here between Ted Cruz, which is a right-wing populist, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortex, which is a left-leading populist. And uh, AOC says that this is unacceptable. We now need to know more about the Robinhood app's decision to block retail investors from purchasing stock, while hedge funds are freely able to trade stock as they see fit. As a member of the Finance Service Committee, I'd support the hearing if necessary. And as I mentioned, Ted Cruz agrees with this. To which Cortex responded, I am happy to work with Republicans on this issue where there is common ground. But you almost had me murdered three weeks ago, so you can sit this one out. Happy to work with almost any other GOP that aren't trying to get me killed. In the meantime, if you want to help, you can resign. So if you look at this picture, what do you see? You know, it's like one of those Rorschach tests. Well, I'll tell you what uh, Cortex sees. You know what she sees? She sees a Hassassin. A Hassassin is there in the picture. Or maybe no, 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 no. You know what she sees? She sees Agent 47. Disguised as Ted Cruz. That's what she sees. Now, I, I just have a question to Cortex, if I may. I know I will never be as high as her wisdom, but uh, if, if you legitimately believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that Ted Cruz is the Hassassin. Why do you want him to roam the streets? I mean, clearly he is a dangerous individual. He can pose as a risk to others. Why are you being so selfish? It's like you just want to eliminate the risk from within your nearby area, but you're going to put the risk on to others. Don't you want to see him behind bars? Shouldn't you lock him up? Call the cops, AOC. Press the charges. Let the law decide. And if a judge, if a judge decides that the Hashashin is guilty, then I will support it. Like, no, yes, absolutely, he has to be kicked out. But if the courts say that he is not guilty, and can you please shut the fuck up? I'm, I'm just, you know, I, this, this is just my low take opinion. I, I, I do not have the wisdom and the intelligence required in order to operate on the same level as a senator, a representative for the American people. But, but it's just like my take on it. You know, and, and now that this matter is put to rest, can can we focus on the issue at hand where like common ground was suddenly found? Uh, apparently not, because as you're going through her Twitter timeline, now it's uh, this person is abusing this senator and that senator is in danger and they, they're doing this shit. Um, no more talk about Robin Hood and, and what. No, no, no. Now, now it's all about drama. And, and, and don't take me wrong. I mean, it's a really good telenovela. I, this is just the very, very interesting. If I would resurrect my grandmother from the grave and put her in front of the television, like she would cry because it's like there's so much drama and emotion here. But nothing of substance. No, no more financial talk. I, I want. I want to talk about the financial issues, Cortex. Is it possible? Huh? Meanwhile, the Republicans are talking about it. Some of them, not all, but still. Yeah, so uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much what happened this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know what you think. Don't forget I got three other channels, all right? I got a live stream channel where I upload daily, and you can talk to me. In fact, you don't have to join my live stream channel to talk to me, all right? You can DM me on Twitter, and I always respond. And I also have a channel where I talk about comic books, movies, anime, manga, that type of thing. Uh, but uh, recently, there, there's not that much to talk about, unfortunately, because everyone is focused on this. But I'll try to update there as well. So let me know what you think. And if you like it, don't forget to give me a donation on Subscribestar. I really appreciate it, especially if you're going to get your 